What's going on everybody? Welcome back. We are here with yet another uncorking of a brand new bottle. I just bought this bottle right here. It is Bardstown Fusion Series Batch 3. They do about, I believe they do four batches of their Fusion Series and four batches of their Discovery Series. I'm too cheap to get the Discovery Series because it's over $100 a bottle. Uh, the Fusion Series, I think, cost me about 45 bucks a bottle. I really wanted to try one of their products, so I decided to go with the Fusion Series because I found it really, really interesting. On the side of the bottle here, it tells you what goes into this Fusion Series. So for the Fusion Series, there's three different whiskeys that actually go into this blend. And it breaks it down for you perfectly on the side. So they source a 13-year-old bourbon from Kentucky, doesn't say what distillery, and 40% of that whiskey goes into this blend. Uh, it's got the mash bill on the side here for you. It's 74% corn, 18% rye, and 8% malted barley. Pretty standard bourbon, nothing too crazy, except for a, a decent age statement. The next two whiskeys that go into this bourbon are from Bardstown Distillery themselves. They have two different ones that they put in here. They have a wheat bourbon and they have a high rye bourbon. Now their wheat bourbon is 60% corn, 20% wheat, and 12% malted barley. That is a three year and only 18% of that whiskey goes into this blend. And then their other whiskey that goes in here is another three year, but 42% of it goes in and it's a high rye bourbon. By high rye bourbon, I mean there's 60% corn, 36% rye, and only 4% malted barley. So as you can see, it's barely being a bourbon. It's right over that 50%, 51% being corn. So again, that's Fusion Series 3. Let's open it, see what we got here. Ooh, nice cork pop there. So this is 49.45% alcohol, it's right at that 98.9% .9 proof, right close to that 100 proof. That is a really, really good range for most bourbons. Straight off the bat from the color, the color is very dark. I'm going to attribute that to the 13 year old whiskey. There's going to be some young notes though, because the other two are very, very young when it comes to bourbon. All right, let's give it a smell. Ooh. That's really nice. You get that really deep, rich caramel, rich toffee, vanilla. A little bit of a dusty nut note, a little peanutty note. But you also get a you also get a lot of fruit, a lot of citrusy fruits, more like a green green apple probably. This one smells very very nice. It's like green apple, green apple, toffee, and then the back is like deep, rich vanilla molasses. It's very, very nice. It's a very good combination of a young bourbon plus a aged bourbon. So I, the smell so far is getting me. Um, let me see what the taste got. Oh, wow. Straight off the bat on the palate, a lot of youth notes. You get that apple and you get that nuttiness, but it's a lot of young spiky notes. The finish is very short, doesn't have a long finish. I was expecting a lot of that deep, rich caramel to just sit on the end of that. But it kind of just, you're kind of just left with a little tingle in your tongue. You're not left with a lot of flavor, which a little disappointing. Yeah, on the nose, you're getting a lot of that, that peanut dust smell. A little bit of corn dust, too. Getting a lot of that apple. I'm also starting to get some, some oakiness. Uh, some barrel char. I'm also getting a lot of tannins now, which definitely has to be coming from that 13 year old bourbon because I don't think the three year old is probably going to get enough of that. Um, she's very, very young on the palate. 
I really wish that I'm I'm fine with the I'm fine with the beginning of the taste being youth because over 60% of it is only like three year bourbon. So I'm getting that youth. But what I'm lacking is that deep 13 year old whiskey that I was really expecting to to give me some deep rich caramel, like a longer finish. And I'm not getting that from this. The nose is very nice. The nose is delicious. Deep rich caramel, toffee with that young apple, and a little bit of nuttiness. It's very good on the nose. The palate, I just, I just think it needs to sit probably for a couple weeks, maybe a month, and then we need to reassess it because I, it's straight from the neck right now. It probably just needs to let a little bit of air in, uh, oxidize it a little bit, and open up those flavors. Then hopefully, we'll get more of that deep, rich notes on the end. Yeah, I'm still getting that. Can't tell if it's like barrel char, barrel tannin, maybe a little bit of coffee-like bitterness. But I think as it sits, it'll probably open up and that'll probably dissipate a little bit. As of right now, the nose, I would give probably, I would say probably an 8 out of 10 on the nose. On the palate, probably a 6.5. Wasn't too thrilled. Not too thrilled with the taste of it. It's decent. It's definitely different. It's definitely a different bourbon than I've had before. I'm just hoping that it opens up because I was really excited about this one. And I'm not getting a lot of that 13-year-old whiskey that's almost makes up half of this bottle. So I'm kind of confused where that 13-year-old went. I am getting a little bit of, I want to say like black pepper, maybe a little bit of black tea. Um, that's probably mostly coming from the high rye bourbon side with that youth. Other than that, it's not one of my favorites. Little, little disappointing. I don't know how the other batches have been, uh, how different the other Fusion Series batches are. Um, but if they continue these series into this year, um, I would definitely be interested to see other people review and see if there's any really good ones out there. I've heard the Discovery Series is really nice, so I was assuming the, the Fusion Series would be pretty good. I haven't watched any reviews on this yet, so I'll have to go see what other people think of this. Um, not my favorite, but that's okay. Sometimes you find things you like, and sometimes you find things you don't like. It's all about testing the waters, trying new things. This is different, this is interesting. Just wasn't into it, and that's that's it. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you did go on to like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more from this channel. Also, leave a comment if you like. I'd like to hear anybody's comments that they have. And I will see you next time for probably another uncorking or a side-to-side -side comparison uh, here soon. So I'll see you next time. Peace.